to the name of Cuddles. Owner Bob Trendell says Cuddles wandered off two days ago wearing a red collar the size of a tractor tire. According to Mr. Trendell, Cuddles is extremely nervous around strangers and should be approached cautiously. Well, we've still had no response on that gorilla found in the vicinity of Putnam's Prairie Emporium two weeks ago. If you've lost this lovable 500-pound house pet or know someone who has, please contact Mrs. Ellen Gallagher at Putnam's Prairie Emporium as soon as possible. And that's Pets Lost and Found for this afternoon. I'm Rolla King. Two weeks feels more like two years. Well, it's not that bad. Whoa! Watch your step, boss. Those things are everywhere. Yeah, well, I'll say one thing for Sparky. He's got a good appetite. <coughs> you haven't seen him, have you? No, thank goodness. No, Caldecott. Maybe Sparky's with the kids, Mr. P. Yeah, no, they're both out. I told them I'd look after him. Again? You've been doing that a lot lately. Well, I don't mind. Although I will admit they haven't been spending much time with him the last few days. I guess they're tired of picking up after him all the time. Sparky isn't the easiest pet in the world to look after. And you thought I was tough. Well, I better go look for him, I guess. Here, Sparky. Here, boy. Come on. Come on, Sparky. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was supposed to stop over there. Uh, Sparky, now come on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'll start over again. Is this okay? <laughs> Sparky. Here, boy. Come on, Sparky. <laughs> You must be one of the new cameramen. <laughs> Sparky, come on, Sparky. <laughs> Sparky, where are you? Come on, Sparky. Uh, I think you're getting a little too close. Uh, that's, you can back up a little bit. Oh, whoa, that, that's close enough. Whoa, that, wait a minute, whoa. Somebody want to tell this cameraman what to do here? Whoa. whoa. Uh, look, we got a problem down here. The ape's got camera two. Whoa. Well, get it away from him then. Okay, guys, get him. Break. I get some bananas down here fast. Here you go. Watch Look, down. Go. Here. Set. Okay, go to a commercial. Go to a commercial. Man, I hate using the producer's relatives. Okay, commercial in three, <sighs> two, one. Colicott, how are you this morning? <laughs> Say, that's pretty good, Colicott. You sound just like Sparky. <laughs> Sparky, you little monkey. Well, actually, you're a pretty big monkey. But you better put Colicott back before Mike the Puppeteer catches you. <sighs> what was that? Mike, <sighs> I didn't see you down there. Now, come on, Sparky, get off of Mike. <sighs> now, give Colicott back. Stay here and be a good boy, Sparky. Mr. P, I protest. What? <clears throat> really, Mr. P, I don't find this at all amusing. Even a beefalo head is some dignity. Well, I'm sorry, Benjamin, but... It really does look quite festive. Sparky, go over there and sit. <laughs> Has anyone answered that ad yet, boss? Not yet, Caldecott. We're not planning on keeping King Kong, are we? Well, he is Katie and Mark's pet. Oh, you wouldn't know it. They hardly ever take care of him anymore. Yes, I know. That's why he's into so much mischief. He has all this energy and no way to get rid of it. It's not really fair. I guess it's time we had a chat. Mark, Katie, you better get down here. And bring a gun, a big gun. What is it, Grandpa? Sparky was playing with Caldecott and Benjamin again. Yeah, how would you like to have monkey hands in your mouth? 
Though I got banana breath, too. Bad, Sparky. Bad boy. There's no sense scolding him now, Mark. He won't understand. You know, kids, wanting to have a pet is one thing, but having one is a serious commitment. We're talking about a living creature, not a doll or a stuffed toy. Hey, boss, whose side are you on anyway? That, no offense, Caldecott. It's just that there's a lot of people, kids and grown-ups too, who don't always take proper care of their pets. And it's the pets that suffer for it. <laughs> just visit any humane society and you'll see what I mean. Oh, better hang on to the counter, Sparky. We're going for a special effect. The Humane Society is an organization that's set up to take care of unwanted, stray, homeless animals. People bring animals out to the Humane Society for all sorts of different reasons. They bring them out here because they're moving out of town and they don't want to take the animal with them. They're moving from an outhouse to an apartment, which is a common reason to bring a dog to us. Um, they just don't want them anymore. A lot of our animals are picked up by people because they wander into their yard and they're then brought out to us as strays. So most of our animals are brought in here as stray animals. We have had animals surrendered to us and the reason given, the children are no longer interested in it. If you think about it in the same context as children themselves, it's terrible, you know. Like you abandon a child because you're no longer interested in it. This is a, an animal is a heavy responsibility. When an animal comes in here, it is first put into isolation. Now that means that for four days, that animal isn't even out for public view. That's to give the owner a chance to come and pick it up from us. After their four days are up, they're moved into general population and they're put up for adoption. And these are our dog kennels. The dogs in here are all waiting to be adopted and they're all trying to get your attention and say, please take me home. These are the cat cages for the adult cats. We have a lot more adult cats than we have kittens because they're a lot harder to adopt out. This is their last chance to be adopted before they, they're put down. We put down about 70% of our cats, and that is mostly because they're allowed to breed. People think of kittens as disposable, cats as disposable animals. A cat can live to be 22 years old and should live that long. But unfortunately, the lifespan of a cat is somewhere around four years because the mortality is so high. Simply because there are too many. They are not treated as a precious animal. Children who have pets should try and remember that an animal's needs are almost the same as theirs. A child needs food and shelter and water, and so does an animal. A child also needs love. An animal also needs love. Animals thrive on love. An animal should be part of your family. <laughs> I know, Sparky, it is a sad story. There, there. <laughs>